So here we're looking at a very nice 2015, first installed 2017, 2018. Hankook VTC 140E, three axis RAM type VTL with 24 tools, Planet 31i control and combination three jaw, four jaw chuck. For the purposes of the video, we're running the machine with the door open so the interlock is defeated. The machine is very low hours use. Here we picked up a from the tool changer a driven tool and we're just going to run the driven tool spindle and engage the C axis. So that's the C axis engaged. Here we're on the manual guide eye screen and we're just referencing the C axis. And we can also have a look at the uh, spindle hours run in a minute. We can see we have a maximum power on time of 21,000 hours with a cutting time of 3,900 hours. Engage the live spindle with the C axis. So we're doing a drilling cycle. Yes, drilling cycle, peg drilling. Peg drilling cycle. Speed it up. Okay. So application support today from Richard Shaw. Thank you very much for joining me, Richard. Doing five holes. Okay. The machine is very well tooled as well. It comes complete with a number of static holders, lots of driven tool holders. the machine electrical panel very compact design we have a transformer and a chiller unit at the back and we also on this machine have a filtration stroke mist extraction system which was added on as an aftermarket item just to help with the uh, misting at high speed turn and high speed turning and you can see that item here is a ester unit Swarf conveyor and swarf bin included as well. So we go back in and replace the uh, drip, the live tool, the drill. So that's releasing now back into the tool changer. And we pick up a standard 161 Hankook static turning holder which is capable of directing 20 bar through spindle coolant through the holder or external coolant as well so, okay so we're going to bring a boring bar in now and we're going to ramp up to about 100 rpm on the chuck watch what it comes up to there yes yes Yes. It's a two-speed gearbox in the table, running at about um, 88 RPM now. So on the high gear. Yeah, we're in the table high gear now. Very smooth, bearing. This is in the second cross rail position. Okay, so we are basically two steps up vertically on the cross rail. So what we're going to show now is the cross rail elevation. So it's needing an M code, and that's an M83 and we'll have the x-axis move to the balance position to centre with the table more or less. It will unclamp and then it will move slowly to the next uh, position up that we programmed it for. So here we go, moving to the centre.
on clamps and there you can just see it moving you might just detect on the video that the cross rail is now moving vertically to give you more height and then the x-axis goes back to its uh, previous position so in that cycle you have the balancing position yes. built in you didn't quite do that yep nice 150, 150 rpm. Little stop. And then we're going to reverse. So here we're seeing the Renishaw tool presetter coming out into position, can be done in cycle, can be done manually. So loading and unloading the tool changes through the side door. So you select the pot you want. If I go for tool number five, tool pot search in manual. And it goes round to number five. And it goes round to number five. Mm -hmm. Open the, the door. And you've got your numbers on and the you magazine. Can take, take number five out. And that can come out. Yeah. Looking now inside the electrical panel of the machine. Absolutely pristine.